Alrighty guys, in that last clip you saw me mounting the motor on the engine stand. Admittedly, that was a couple weeks ago. I fell behind, had to go to work, get a bunch of stuff done, and I was waiting on parts to come in. So now, after I've taken a bunch of accessories like the headers, the intake, and stuff off, I'm actually going to start disassembling the video, the, sorry, the engine, and I'm going to try to time lapse it all, put it all together. But first, I want to show you all the cool parts I got. I've only gotten bottom end parts so far. I'm going to do the head later on. But let's take a look. Alrighty, stepping back from our engine where you can see I've taken everything off. I've done a little bit of cleaning. I'm going to have a buddy come over with his pressure washer and we're going to really clean this bad boy up. This, for anyone that hasn't known, is an LSJ out of a 2006 Chevy Cobalt SS. It has an unknown number of miles on it. There's a lot number on here and stuff, so plus the car had a lot of miles on it, but that doesn't matter because we're completely rebuilding everything with these parts sitting on the ground right here. Now this is only bottom end stuff. I'm getting a lot more top end stuff and I will talk about that once we're ready for that. But first, let's go through it all. So first, we got some brand new main bearings. Uh, these are, I, I don't know what the quality of the ones in there are right now. I haven't looked yet. This is also my first engine I'm building. So first thing I thought, main bearings. I talked to ZZP about all of this. This is what they recommended to do. Second thing we've got are some 4340 forged connecting rods. Uh, I'm told these could hold as much power as I want to throw at it. I'm trying to keep in the 300 range, so we'll see how that works out. Some JE pistons, which I will throw some specs up on the screen of these, but this is, this is really exciting. This is my first time ever building an engine, and just having these all in front of me, finally pulling the trigger to do all this is really freaking exciting. And... I don't know if I'm going to reveal what it's for yet or I'm going to wait. The actual thing I'm waiting on, the big thing is coming sometime in October, so we'll see how that goes. Next thing I've got is, because I don't know if you remember in that time lapse, I had to break the old clutch off. One of the bolts was rusted into the flywheel. So brand new aluminum flywheel with a replaceable uh, clutch di disc medium. That's big. I don't know how much abuse it's going to take. I'm going to try to teach other people how to drive stick on this car. And to go with that, I have a Clutch Masters Stage 4 clutch. I believe they said it could hold up to 440 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll correct that. On top of that, we've got a brand new ATI Super Damper and a Precision Timing Components Kit. Just to make sure everything on this engine is super fresh, super new, and it'll last and be reliable. With that being said, I'm going to jump into a time lapse now and we're going to start disassembling that engine. If you see me doing things wrong, let me know nicely in the comments. This is actually my first engine I've ever taken out of a car. I've ever done major work on. I've done oil changes and timing chains and stuff, but that's about it. Everything else I am learning uh, and I love taking things apart, so don't spoil it too much, but be nice. I know I'm going to do something wrong here or there. Let's get to it. I inside my own world of make-believe kids screaming in the cradles profanities i see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep i love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Alrighty guys, that's all I'm gonna do for today. I hope the time lapse came out good. I was trying to think of angles to be able to see and still be able to work. There's not much light, I don't have an external light yet. But I got a fair bit off the engine. Uh, we're down to essentially the bare block, got the timing cover off, the head off. Uh, nothing looks crazy out of ordinary. Uh, let me flip this around. 
as you can see, everything is tripped off. I tried to pull this gasket off, but you see it's looped up there. I need to take the engine mount off, but everything looks all right. I'm not sure if these pistons are just, have a little bit of a donut in them or if that is all carbon. If so, that is a lot of carbon and it's really strange that they all have donuts in them. Don't worry about the water. That's from when I was cleaning it up. Uh, I'm gonna drain all that in a minute here, but yeah, whole engine is apart. It took probably, I think, three hours with running to the auto parts store and I'm excited to get all these brand new parts in there, get all this stuff cleaned up. There's not much sludge. The oil is a little runny, but no signs of the head gasket being bad. Head looks all right, it's a little clean. I'm gonna clean that up, check it out. Quarters in my pockets, counting like the bully clovers in my 